hey y'all welcome to my channel this is a wig that i have previously made that i previously installed on my channel this is a transparent 13 by 4 frontal and two bundles of raw virgin hair Like I said, this is a wig that I previously installed on my channel. I attached what the link looks like, and this is the makeup that I'm going to be using on the inside of my wig. You can get this at your local beauty supply store, or maybe you can look it up online. This is made by Ruby Kisses, and I'm just going to put it on the inside of the wig and put it on just to show you what it, just to show you guys what it looks like up against my skin. It's a good match. It's a perfect match. And today we're going to be, of course, doing a glueless install. I'm going to show you guys how to attach the elastic band, where to attach the elastic band, and how to properly install your wig so that you don't have to use any other products besides what I show you. And this is honestly perfect. I love the transparent lace. All you have to do is tint it to your skin complexion, or you can use some makeup to get it to your skin complexion. The way you stretch the elastic band is from side to side from ear to ear like you see me showing in the video. Then you're gonna put it directly above your ears. Like when you put the wig on and you feel behind your ears, that's where you're gonna put the elastic band. And you're just gonna sew it on. Once you get your wig in position to have it laid exactly how you want it, you're going to take your mousse and smooth it all over the front of your wig. The mousse that I'm using is made by Afoji. I like to use Afoji, Nairobi, or Blowpro Volume. You can also use Lotta Body or Motions if this is going to be glueless. Whenever you're using glue, use Afoji, Nairobi, or Blowpro Volume. Once you get it laid exactly how you want it, once you get it molded exactly how you want it with the mousse, you're going to take your headband, wrap it down, and wait till it dries completely. It's really just that simple. There's no trick to it or anything. Once you have it molded down, it's going to stick and it's going to lay exactly how you need it to stay. Just make sure you hold the front of the frontal, comb it out, and make sure it's stuck down. If you used it right, and if you did it right, it'll be stuck. But remember that it's glueless. See? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys try this technique. See you next time.